Hi, Flip Altman here from Lawn Mastery. Hey, I want to talk today about my crepe myrtle tree. It's actually one of two that I have in the yard. But a couple of days ago, I walk out of the house. It was a bright sunny day, and this tree was just in full fall color. Bright yellow leaves turning to orange, and it was just gorgeous. I wanted to grab the camera and come out here and video it, but I had something else I had to do, and I wasn't able to do it right then. I thought I'd catch it the next morning. Well, that evening it started raining, and it's continued to rain off and on for a couple of days. So what you see now is not the same tree that I saw a couple of days ago, but you'll still get an idea. If you look in here close, you can see these yellow leaves. You can see them right here at the bottom of the tree. Now up at the top of the tree, because of the rain, it's lost a lot of the color. A lot of the leaves are just falling and hitting the ground, as you can see right here. Makes a beautiful blanket on the ground though, doesn't it? But I just love this tree. This is one of my favorite trees that I have in the yard. It's, it's my favorite because of the fall, the color it gives, but also in the summer. In the summer, this tree is just full shape of, of green foliage. And this is a white crepe myrtle. So it has these huge white flower clusters that last all summer long. Really a great tree. It's low maintenance. I do prune it once a year. Uh, prune it in the in the February normally cut it back pretty short and it just you know grows and grows It ends up being just a great shaped tree Anyway, if you don't have a crepe myrtle, I recommend you looking into it If you do have a crepe myrtle, I'm sure you know what I'm talking about if you want more information check us out at lawnmastery.com. Thank you